How to make a free payment landing page for beginners. Easy tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to make a free payment landing page for beginners to accept payments on your e-commerce website or others. So let's get into it. So first of all, what you guys need to do is simply go to stripe.com and you will land on this platform right here. This is going to be a Stripe tutorial because Stripe allows you to accept payment from multiple websites and platforms and allows you to make a free payment landing page and it's very easy to use for beginners. So I will show you all of the different features and tools we get with Stripe. Let's get into it. First of all, once you get to stripe.com, to get started with Stripe, you will click on sign in option given here. Click on sign up. To sign up, enter your email address, full name, select the country you live in, select a password, click on get emails if you want to get it, and then click on create account. That's how easy it is to create an account on Stripe and it's completely free. Once you sign up, then it will take you to your dashboard. After the initial sign up or sign in to your Stripe, this is where you will get. I have created an account on Stripe and now I'll show you how to connect a platform to Stripe and how it works. So you can see we have home, payments, balances, customer, products, reports, connect and more. We have more options such as payment links, invoices, subscriptions, we have climates, we have connect again, then we have revenues and apps. So it's an all-in-one platform with a lot of different features and tools, the ultimate tools that we need for our business. So first thing that you might be wondering is how to connect your Stripe. You have an account on Stripe now, how to connect it to your website. So you will get the connect option right here. And once you click on connect, it will allow you to connect to a marketplace, e-commerce platform or a software platform. The top partners are Squarespace, WooCommerce and Wix. Click on find a partner and it will take you to the different extensions available with Stripe. You can connect your Shopify, your Salesforce to your Stripe. You can also connect your website on Squarespace, Wix and any other platform, Weebly, Webflow. You can connect your HubSpot, WooCommerce, any platform you are using, you can connect to Stripe. Then uh, you have connected your platform, you're good to go. And now you can create your payments and you can create your balances. In the payment section, you will be able to create payments and you will be able to check your refunded, uncaptured and fails. And a page is automatically connected and created for your website. Uh, so here we have payments. In order to create a new payment, click on this option and we can create invoice, subscription, payment link or manual payment. Payment link, create a reusable link to accept payment from anyone. Then we have invoice subscription. So I will actually show you all of these one by one. Let's go with invoice first and let's create to accept a payment for a customer that we already have. So we can create different customers on Stripe as well, or you can drive it from your website. You can drive the list that you already have. You can import it. Then select the items. You can create different items on Stripe as well. Enter the memo right here. Thank you for the business. Then we have a payment option. So this is where you will enter your item pricing, like how much you want to charge. And this is what it looks like. You can see very professional invoices. Uh, the download invoice option is available to from pay this invoice. The amount due will be shown right here. Then we also have a footer that says thank you for your business. And then you can see this is what it looks like the preview of your invoice. So this is how you create an invoice in Stripe. Let's move on to the subscriptions. Click on create payment, go to subscriptions. So here again, I will select a customer first. Then we have to select the pricing of the product. Select a product from here that you have created or you can create a new product. Let me show you how to add a product. Click on add product and then you will enter the name. Let's say that it's a premium plan for my website standard pricing then we have a price so it's actually seven dollars recurring or one time it's a recurring it's a monthly payment you can see billing is going to be monthly so it's going to be seven dollars monthly so this is what it looks like and this is how i receive my payments from my websites very easily using stripe click on add product this is the product that i'm going for it will be added here 
Now I need to send this subscription to one of my customers, this person right here, because they have used the monthly subscription start date. And then this is going to be the end date trial. If you want to add free trials, you, then you can go ahead and add that. So I'm going to add three day trial. Like this is going to be completely free. So this is what it looks like. First invoice, free trial, three day trial is available. Now I can click on start the subscription and it will be started and I can send this to this email address and they will receive it uh, from my website because they signed up for my website and I got their email address and they will get the detail that okay they have signed up for a subscription on the website and now they have to pay it. So this is how we create lending pages, payment lending pages for free with Stripe. Payment link. In payment link, it's actually really easy. Payment link is like an open uh, payment that we can receive. Now, it depends on the type. You can select payment for product and, and subscriptions, for customers, for tipping, donation. So it's an open link that we can share with someone to receive a payment. So that's actually, that eliminates the hassle of connecting a platform, that eliminates the hassle of creating items. So this, it's an open link. It, it's very easy to use for beginners. So I'm just going to go with a product or a subscription payment page or confirmation page. So I want to check the payment page. This is what it will look like. Another thing that is good about Stripe is that we can accept payment in multiple uh, ways. We can accept payment from Visa cards, MasterCards, Apple Pay, then we have Discover Pay. So WeChat Pay, like any payment method you can think of, it's available on Stripe. Maybe some are not, but a lot of payment methods that a lot of people use, PayPal. So very easy payment methods are available. So when our customers are signing up or buying a subscription and they want to pay with their simple MasterCard, they can do that. If they want to pay with PayPal, they can do that. If they want to pay with Apple Pay, they can just very simply do that. And they don't have to worry about, okay, how to uh, get to this payment method? How will we pay? So this is another good thing about Stripe. You can see this is the preview for the payment link and now I can add a product again. So I'm just going to select this one again. Then we have option collect customers addresses, include a free trial, require customer to provide a phone number. And then we have advanced option. Once done, click on create link and you will get your own custom link that you can share with your customers and with your team members. This is you can see this is the link right here. Copy this one, share with your customer and they will be able to pay you with Stripe. They don't require an account on Stripe. They will pay with their Apple Pay and I'll just receive on my Stripe. How to withdraw the money? You can just simply go to your account and then withdraw the money from to your bank, to your other payment methods too. The last option we get is the manual payment. And this is uh, where we can actually receive payments, one-time payments or recurring payments from our customers manually. So this is also another option which is very efficient. All you need to do is create a manual payment for a customer. Let's say I had a deal with someone and they said that, okay, we had a deal and they bought something and it was for $100. So I'm just going to enter the amount, add the customer. Let's just go with maybe like Adam. Let's go with maybe this one. Then we have description, statement descriptor, and then we have manual enter card information. So this is where I will enter the amount information and this is going to be manual. So they will enter the card options here and I will be able to receive the payment. We can also select a recurring method and it allows us to create recurring payments, uh, payments that can happen again and again and th that occur, you know, twice a month, every month. So we can just select that option. And this way we can actually create our own payment landing page with Stripe. Once you connect it to your platform and people will be able to pay and you can just connect your Stripe to your Shopify, to your WooCommerce, to your Wix, WordPress and your Squarespace. It will allow you to accept payments really easily digitally and you will be able to run a successful business online. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.